A lot of people say to me, Rich, what, what do we do when we come to actually sorting out the wine? The wine's finished fermenting, we've degassed it, we've added some finings to it, it's now nice and clear, and we want to bottle it. I find bottling a real hassle. So I'm going to deal with the bottling part first, and then we're going to look at other forms of storage and other forms of containers that we can actually use. So, if we're going to bottle the wine, obviously we've got to sterilise our bottles. They all need to be nice and clean, so that when the wine goes in them, it's well looked after. First thing we have to say is, obviously if we're using used wine bottles, then we ideally need to scrape the labels off, or get them cleaned up or whatever, but it's all down to your own personal preference. When I'm applying labels, especially if I'm using non-gummed, i.e. labels without a gum on them, I will always use milk on them. What I do is get some milk and just spread it around the edges of the label, stick them on. Looks fantastic because it means it's very easy to actually get those labels off. So a quick soak in water, the label will actually disappear, well, will not disappear, but will come off the, the actual bottle, get rid of all the glue that's on there with a nice little white, and we're ready to use it again. So we've actually got our bottles. Let's assume we're going to use um, a combination of corks and uh, screw top bottles. I'll come on to that in a minute when I actually deal with the containers. At this stage, all I want to work look at is ways of actually sorting out the wine bottles. So we've got here a rather canny piece of kit. It's a 40 bottle tree for our wine bottles. So the wine bottles, once we've rinsed them, we can actually put them on the tree. So obviously clear any of the real rubbish off them, put them on the tree, and as you can see, they just slot on nicely. This base here is completely self-contained, so if it drips water down, then obviously the water's not going anywhere. So it doesn't actually need to even stand on a drainer. We can have it standing anywhere. So the bottles, once we've actually uh, done them, rinsed them, we need to sterilize them. One of the things that we can use is a sterilizer container. We can fill the container full of sterilized water, and we can actually put the bottles onto here and if we just press down, you can see the water is actually shooting up inside the bottle and it's just doing a quick sterilization for us. So it takes all the mess out and again, just put them onto the bottle tree and let it drain. Obviously, once we've used the sterilized water, we need to then put clean water in there so that we can rinse it with clean water and obviously forget about the sterilized chlorine and taste that we don't want to come through onto the wine. Now, as I say, that is a nice little bit of kit. It's not expensive. You'll see it on the, uh, uh, in, on the website. So on the bottle rack, uh, the, the, the tree, we've got two sizes. We do a 45 and we do a 90. So the option is yours. The only difference is that obviously it comes up a bit higher with the 90 bottle. You've got five, to, uh, five more spouts on there, which go all the way up. Um, so that's the bottle tree. And that's the, uh, the bottle cleaner, two really good pieces of kit. We'll now look at actual methods of bottling and methods of storing the 